Yo, what's up? This is Kay from Matriarchs, and you are watching the local band Smoke Out. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we are joined by Scotty and Isaiah of the band Alliance! Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> what? Hell yeah. Thank you, fellas, for joining. Uh, if you could do me a favor, let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Please plug and promote anything you'd like, and then we'll, we'll get started. Um, awesome. Well, uh, my name is Scotty Nolin. I am the vocalist of Alliance based out of San Carlos, Arizona, uh, USA. That is, um, I think the only thing I can really plug is just our link tree. So link tree at Apaches in the band, but then again, too, you can find us on all, uh, social media platforms and as well as streaming platforms under Apaches in the band or Alliance here. Hell yeah. Isaiah, uh, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. <laughs> I appreciate um, you guys being yeah, here, man. But... Uh, I, I, I want to ask a, a couple of questions just to get started. Uh, first, you sent over your, your EPK to Lizzie, and Lizzie forwarded to yeah. me, and I must throw you kudos and compliments. It is the best-looking <laughs> EPK I've ever seen, and I've been doing this show for 10 yeah. years. I think – who, right who made that for you? And uh, somebody yeah, needs – who made it? Oh, oh, Scotty made it. Oh, yeah, I, I made it. Yeah, <laughs> dude, do you do that for a living for other bands? No. Um, to be honest, how it kind of started off was I started realizing that as much as you know, you can reach out to a third party, I guess, vendor in regards to making the, that type of stuff for you. A lot of it you can do yourself. Um, to be honest, how I started was just kind of YouTubing, like, what is an EPK? Like, what's the purpose of an EPK? And then from there, I just kind of Google searched, like, a few examples of how some people do it and then just added my own twist. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, but what I am going to say is Canva, C-A-N-V-A. -A. Download that app. All you musicians that are out there, all of you bands that are out there, you can do video edits, you can do photo edits, you can do EPKs invoices you can make your flyers canvas like everything you could possibly need in regards to what you need in regards to pr for your band so i mean that uh, everything that you see even like if you look at our um album our single artwork for like chains reassemble all of that that's all done through canva each and every one of those uh album artworks it does everything Hell so yeah. i mean given the secrets yeah. out wow <laughs> yeah well i mean i you can make money doing that. this, bro. That's well, awesome. yeah, I mean, I mean no, no doubt I can make money, but what I've learned along the way in regards to being with this band is that it's a lot of give and take, and it's better to give more so ten than to take, and it's all it always comes back full circle, anyways, too. So I all that. means if I if I could help somebody else, eventually down the road we're gonna end up being helped, especially with what we're doing now. No, bro, I'm messaging you tomorrow. So probably I'm gonna Yo, is there is there a way, Lizzie? Can I can you re quickly resend that to me through Messenger? I want to show everybody what we're talking about because it is the cleanest. Uh, by the way, my co-host today, his name's Eric. He goes by Spaz. He's in a band. He's a drummer in a band called uh, Failure by Proxy. Um, he's my okay. co-host. Uh, nice to meet you, Eric. Nice is, to meet you guys. Is, Greetings. Is yeah. everybody in the band of the Apache Tribe? And how did you guys meet? Yeah, uh, we are all a part of the St. Carlos Apache tribe. Um, it started off with me and Isaiah. Uh, <laughs> we got to kind of go way back to about 10 years ago now. Way 2013. back! Yeah. Uh, back so back then. That. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but um, so, so back my bones then. Crack. <laughs> uh, but back then what had happened was it started off with just YouTube covers because back then I was playing guitar and um, I was just posting up these YouTube covers and I had posted it to Facebook to which Isaiah and I were friends through Facebook. We didn't really know of one another just a little bit, but um, he seen the cover and he messaged me later on. He was like, hey, I can play that song, but I play it different. And we're just like, oh, okay. And although it was something really small, 
like a few weeks later, he messages over and he's like, "Hey, uh, I'm trying to start a new band. You want to be a part of it?" And uh, the rest is history. So <laughs> that is cool. Okay, I yeah. have I have the EPK to show everybody what we're talking about. So I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna switch screens just for a second so you guys can see this. Uh, you, you check this out right here. So this is what it looks like if uh, if if you get their EPK. Look how colorful and vibrant. It's got all the information you can ever need. Multiple photos, uh, everything about each band member, press history, radio stations, blogs that have posted them, their numbers, uh, people they played with, prior flyers. I'm telling you, man, it's very impressive. Uh, I, I don't want to make the whole interview about that, but it's just it's just fun that uh, that you guys uh, are really wicked good at that for real. Spaz, I know you got some questions for him. Yeah, um, trying to be respectful of your heritage and all that. Um, do you guys? And I know you have a female in your band too. So, uh, as a group of musicians, do you ever get either pigeonholed or? Uh, looked down upon or maybe even passed over because you are a full Native American band? Personal feeling. Uh, <laughs> you know, actually, it took a really long time for us to break into the Arizona music scene. Um, a lot of it is because we live so far away from the actual city of Phoenix. You know, we live about two and a half hours out east and that that's on a good day sometimes it could even be more depending on traffic and um unfortunately to a lot of native american bands previously be before us and maybe even around the same era as us just transportation alone has been like a band killer and it's caused a lot of bad reputation to native americans in general and you know it no one likes uh, a band to cancel out on a gig but sometimes you know it is what it is and I'm actually lucky to say that our band is fortunate enough that we've probably only canceled maybe once or twice in all the gigs that we've done and that's including from the valley to New Mexico to Colorado you know we, we make our way and we make that extra effort to make it to those gigs <laughs> so um, to, to go full circle with answering your question is yes um to what i hear whispers in the back of my ear is that native american bands in general are looked down upon because of those contributing factors but you know we're hoping that we leave a good reputation for that you know you're slightly mm -hmm. freezing on uh your there you go every now and then we can hear every word you're saying but it kind of is oh. fr it's freezing just a little bit every now and then. But we're good. We're good for a second. But uh, were you guys informed oh, no, about the the hot sauce? That uh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. To do that's for the trivia oh. segment. Oh yeah, Isaiah's ready too. Hell yeah. To do this the trivia, <laughs> it counts. It counts. I that's all I got. It counts. Hey, we'll I'll take it. Is it that or a pedal? So. No worries. <laughs> uh, could could you it's that or a pedal? Could you, Scotty and Isaiah, agree on a movie or TV show that you guys have seen more than anything? Could you agree on one or the other, where if I ask you trivia about either a movie or a TV show, you could, you will not get stumped? I'll give you a second to think about it. I'm going to go ahead and jam the uh, Chains music video right now. And uh, you guys think about it. We'll come right back. All right. And if you're watching, please support them. Hit the subscribe button. It'd be a hell of a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> you 
guys do you guys make it over to California very often? Um <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, actually dude. uh next what is it? Next Saturday will be our first dude, time in Next Anaheim. Saturday. Where are you playing uh, at? Uh the Doll Hut. Oh, okay, cool. Hell yeah. That's not too far. Is that that's is that SoCal? Yeah, think? definitely. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. What did, what did, movie or TV show did you pick? Uh, Isaiah, I think <laughs> you know what I'm I'm thinking. What's he thinking? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 well, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say that. I was saying that. Blood and blood out. Blood and blood out. Okay. Blood and blood out. Pat, hit him with another question. Balls? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and let me let me look yeah, up uh, blood in yeah, blood so out trivia. So, so uh, Scotty, I just friend requested you on Facebook. Um, what inspired you guys? Um, I mean, I don't want to harp in on the native heritage portion because, I mean, that's a that's a a good part or I guess a focus part. But what inspired you to one become a band and two maybe surround yourself with Native Americans to become that kind of, I guess you could say label again, no disrespect. Cause to me, it doesn't matter if you're a great musician, you're a great musician. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess it, okay. So there, there's two different answers to this. Mm -hmm. Um, if we talk about inspiration from the reservation itself, hundred percent, that's what I, yeah. It, I would say it would come down to uh, this thrash hardcore band called Enemy Machine. Um, they were basically the the forefathers that started metal on our reservation. So I, I feel personally that if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be doing it. But if we talk on the music side of things, um, I would think Lamb of God, uh, Randy Blythe specifically, uh, Willie and Chris Adler, and after the burial, uh, at least between Isaiah and I, because we're we're both very techy like that. <laughs> I love the fact yeah, that like in, kill switch. <laughs> like in your guys' music, oh, yeah, yeah. In, in your in your music though, you incorporate like all kinds of different genres that are different than the bands you just mentioned. <laughs> like, where does that influence come from? Like the non-metal side influence. Um, for me personally, it would probably be the the emo punk band Alisana. Hell yeah. Um, that that's where a lot of like that, you know how if, if you've heard some of our music, it kind of goes from like one section to a whole like one eighty, and I feel like that's always been like a signature move of us is like, we we keep it in rhythm but at the same time we like to twist it up a lot i got you well let's see if we can yeah, stump you here i got one quick question oh yeah yeah okay and i know it's it's a totally different uh style of ethnic music but like i love bloody wood and i love how they incorporate some of their um i i guess music heritage or like um with native americans is it like a is it a war cry, war dance? The, um, you know, the tribal type of music. Have you ever, and I've never heard of you guys before, but I, I, I just hearing what I heard, I love, and I, I'm going to look it all up. Have you ever thought of incorporating some, um, your, as a custom, uh, you know, you're back, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I, actually, we have. Um, if you look up the song Apache Morning Sickness, Okay. Um, little, little side story of that is um, last year we entered in, into a radio competition with 98 KUPD, mm -hmm. um, the you know big radio station in Phoenix. And uh, surprisingly, we actually won it. And That's out of awesome. winning it, we we're able to win. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but out of it, we actually <laughs> won studio. We actually won studio time, and we also won uh, two Gs. So. With going into the studio, what we ended up doing is we created a radio intro for that radio station. So every single morning for the next 365 days, they play that radio intro for their morning show. That's amazing. Wow, <laughs> that's super cool. Congratulations. But, <laughs> that's badass. Yeah, thank you so much. But but in that song, you can, uh, 
Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but, <Yeah>. in that, <laughs> but in that song, though, we incorporate something that's very home-like, which is a war cry. Mm-hmm. And um, it's it's a it's a little section like toward the end of the song, but once you hear it, though, um, I guess you could feel a little bit at home, which I I hope you know makes people <laughs> that are from where we're from, you know, they they feel at home with it. That is super cool. Let's uh let's see if we can stump you and get you to do some hot sauce though. The important things in life. <laughs> no. In the movie Blood In Blood Out, which you selected, what is the name of the prison gang Miklo joins? La Onda. <laughs> La Onda is correct. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You do not have to do the hot sauce. I'm instead gonna do some ghost pepper wing sauce as well as we'll rip it after this interview. <laughs> it's like, how, how does that affect later on, you know, with the hot sauces that you, you do? Oh, I'm good. I have like, I have like, <laughs> I have like 40 of them. And uh, I have like a couple of favorites that I rotate. Like right now, I have oh. I have Red Hot Ripplets meal sauce, wasabi, a custom one that a buddy gave me, and that one is the nightmare. You don't want that one. Um, a green one, and then I have the ghost pepper wing sauce, which has a little sizzle to it, but it's it's like a three out of ten on the heat level. They put like one ghost pepper in like a gallon of it. It's it's uh, it's just a little pinch, but yeah, it's not it's not too bad. Fellas, what would you, you know, like? Daddy, you, I'm sorry. You know, it would be good if we had if I had my um Carolina Reaper um salsa. Go grab it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't I already ate that all. <laughs> Dang, it must have, it must have been good. It must have came out good. What it what was. do you guys want to uh, accomplish for the remainder of the year and when can we expect the fall the next single to come out? Um I would say right now our goal is to complete the rest of the shows that we booked. Um, cause you know, ever since the, the whole radio station win and the releases of these singles and our music video, it's just been going up, just up, up. Everybody wants more. Everybody wants to see us live. And it's come to the point now where it's like, okay, um, what shows are most important, you know, or what, what's going to really benefit us as a band in comparison to just playing everywhere and doing everything that we want to do. And although, you know, in, in a perfect world, that that would be nice, but simultaneously, too, we, we have our own limitations. So I think that, and then in regards to a new single, um, we've actually started the process to our next EP. And um, looking into next month, we're going to be really sitting down and writing out the next EP. So, yeah, I mean, I, I would say maybe next year. What did you spend the two Gs on that you guys won? Uh, let's see. It was <laughs> the e- studio the EP? time. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was studio time for the EP. Shout out to Jacob Miles. He's he's our sound engineer, mm. and he did such amazing work in regards to all of these singles. Um, but what was it? Airbnb, just so that we could all be in the same spot. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's that's what it really came down to is because comparison to driving back and forth into the city to get to the studio it was a lot better and more convenient for us just to get an airbnb go Makes there sense. and then plus two on top mm. of that that same weekend that we recorded we had a show so we had to yep. get to that gig <laughs> and then go back to the studio and then you know mix it all together <laughs> <laughs> all right i got one more trivia question and then i'm gonna send it back to spaz uh, I gotta stump you guys. I'm gonna try. I'm trying. I don't know. Uh. What is the name of the leader of the Black Gorilla Army? Oh. Second one's always harder. In Blood In, Blood Out, what is the name uh. of the leader of the Black Gorilla Army? Unified. Bonafide is correct! Damn it! Well done. Damn it! 
And you had to like really think about that one too. <laughs> All right, we'll bust out the Mad Lib after this. Um, cause it's not fun to do it while, while you guys are here, but, uh, uh, let's see. I, I have one last question. Uh, and then again, I'll, I'll send it to spaz, but before, before I send it there, can you guys tell me maybe a mistake you made early on in your career that you don't want another local band that's just starting to make? Oh man. <laughs> Some advice, if you will. Don't drink before you play. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no, 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 yep. no. <laughs> um, um, what else? Man, I mean, the, the, the drinking one, it that that could be, you know, either way, some people, it, it relaxes them. A lot of people, they want to stay more focused. Um, Me, personally, is... I guess learn how to take criticism and as well mm. understand that you're like, I don't know, just stay consistent with it because even though like there's going to be a lot of naysayers, there's going to be a lot of people that don't think that you can do this. You got to be your own self-motivation through either the good praises or the bad praises. I mean, still you got to just keep going because at the end of the day, all you're just trying to do is make music. All you're trying to do is just live the dream. And I got to thank this guy right here. I mean, if it wasn't for Isaiah here, because we're, we're the, the founding members of the <laughs> band and have been going the longest. So we've always been the two to pick each other back up whenever anything goes wrong. And that's not to say mm. that Ashley, Aaron, or Laryl don't do so, but more so like it comes down to me and him trying to get each other up so that we can get everybody else back up so because we we've been through it all i mean we could go oh, yeah. on and on talk to you guys about everything that we've experienced in these past <laughs> 10 years with this band but um yeah i mean when your, when your oh, bandmates yeah. fall down pick them up man i like that mm -hmm. spaz hit him with the i got oh, sorry <laughs> uh hit him with the one oh. one we got time for like oh. one one more question Give them a good well, one. I have, well, well, okay, so maybe one and a half, BG, real fast. Sure. Okay, first one. Uh, you said you've been together, uh, you've been in a band 10 years. Do you have a custom in-ear endorsement? Is your drummer endorsed with cymbals or sticks? Nope. No. Said, <laughs> okay, respond to me. Uh, I, I've been... I've been playing in bands for many, many, many years. Uh, my One of my givebacks is I have a wide uh, contact list of uh, endorsements that will help out um, and, and you guys are good enough. So uh, reach out to me because these guys trust my input and mm. especially with cymbals, drumsticks and custom inner molds, uh, I, I can help you guys and save money because uh, again, um. I'm a, I'm a I'm in a band, you know, I'm I'm a drummer and a screamer, but I, I still have a, a job because I'm not making a living off this. I do it because we want to <laughs> spread our love musically to everybody else. My second question is I, I love co hosting with BG because uh he's uh Queen Lizzie, they're all the best family. So you have a choice. One, five, or ten. You pick a number. It's one, five, or ten. What do you think, Isaiah? I always go for the biggest one. That's what I was thinking. Do you think D? You want to go for All 10? Right. 10? Okay. D. All right, this one's from Alliance. D. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. One second, one second. Boom. It's 10 Courtesy gifted subs from Spaz, but really for, for and from Alliance right there going out. But, dude, for real, he, he's he's telling the truth. He knows a lot of people in the industry. Um, we we got to speak with, uh, shoot, what was the, the, the band that played the, the Vegas I, Festival? Cold Chamber? Yeah, yeah, Cold Chamber. Uh, <laughs> he's friends with uh, Vicky from there. But, yeah, he can help with endorsements and stuff, so definitely reach out to him and link up. He, he's and microphone endorsements. Yeah. He's a cool dude. All right. <laughs> but, it's fast. Thank I you, got, man. Yeah. And I got hookups with Schecter. Thank so you. Just hit me up, please. 
So each time there's a sub, I have to do a judo kick, and I'm behind 18, so now I have to do 28 judo kicks here in a bit. But uh, Alliance, you guys are badass, man. Keep doing your thing. Uh, it, maybe we can do a follow-up down the road and touch base again, but uh, kudos to you for not only winning winning the radio station contest, having the best-looking EP I've ever seen in this entire show. I think you literally have another job on your hands if you want it to do that for other bands. They'd probably easily pay 150 200 bucks for something like that. But um, you guys, you guys are badass, man. We we appreciate you supporting us. So we'll keep supporting you for real. Yeah, and Scott, oh, like I said, I, I sent you a friend request. Hit me up because I do need help with my band's EPK because I just don't have the time. <laughs> so yeah, by all means, I mean I'll I'll be more than willing to help out. Hell yeah, awesome brother. And if you guys are watching again, please go over to their Spotify, hit the follow button like I have, mm, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Scotty and Isaiah of Alliance. Yeah, hell yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, fellas. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> you do. Hi, what's up, Welcome to the local band smokeout.